Did De Morgan's Law remind you of anything? Did it remind you of when we were doing and and or in the logic and negating them? Now look, if, if you think of complement as being negation, because if you think of it as inside A is all those elements that do satisfy the property A, the complement of A is then all those things that don't satisfy the property A. So another way of saying that is inside here is all the elements X such that A is true, then the complement of A is all those elements such that A is not true. So it's just like negation. So A into section B is X such that A and B are true. Right? So what's, what's the negation of that? Then it's going to be the complement of A in section B is all X such that A and B, we want the negation of that. So we can write it's not A and B. Now do you remember how we negated and? That was the same as not A or not B. Remember that the and turned into an or when we took the not to the outside. Well, not A or not B, oh, that's what this is, isn't it? Because this is not A and that's not B, and the union is or. So in general, X, uh, let's do something else, P union Q is all those things such that P or Q is true. So this de Morgan's law is exactly the same as the law about how we negated an and, right? And the other one, the other one here is telling us this is A or B. So the other, the other one, the second one, is telling us that the negation of A or B is this, which is not A and not B is not A and not B. So you see, this de Morgan's law has another incarnation, which is in this sort of logic version of de Morgan's law. Uh, well, I think that's all I wanted to say about the relationship between those set operations and logic. I'll just leave this one here.